Pop squat. Go. Manhatcha. Oh, I keep forgetting to go over and get my drink from by the couch. <sighs> I want a drink. Um, I love me some ginger ale. We're going to listen to Nervous. This is a track from 1983 from Curtis Blow. I love Curtis Blow. He's probably the first rapper whose voice I was just like, oh, yeah. That's a great voice. Uh, it's so good. He's got such a great voice. So I'm, I'm hoping it really shows off in this. I do not know this track at all. At least I don't think I know it. Um, like I said, from 1983, off of the album Party Time, it was track number three. Produced by J.B. Moore and Robert Ford Jr. This is credited as simply rap music. So uh, let's check it out. Five minutes and 20 seconds long. Curtis Blow, nervous. You talking to me? You make me nervous. Oh, those sounds. Those sounds are so... They so take me back to that time period just in terms of the... The kind of cheesy, not as realistic sounding synthesizer sounds and I love that sound so don't get me wrong when I say cheesy it sounds awesome but it's so it's so much of that time period and it's just fantastic and it's weird to think of it it's weird to think of current music and if you're younger than me which most likely you are almost everyone is now um you will think the same thing about some of the music you listen to now and go, oh my god, this takes me back to like the 2020s and how just the sound is anchored in that time period uh, and it's just the craziest thing. This is really fun. You talking to me? You make me nervous. <laughs> like that kind of staccato thing he's doing with the lyrics his, his flow is very very pizzicato that's all i can think of is dun, 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 you know and ah it's so good and his voice is great it, this is cool uh it's also really neat to see even just in the first 25 seconds of this song we've heard more music by far than we've heard lyrics and in current day music we hear lyrics 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 and not very much of a break but in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s, it was very much about the breaks. It was very much about the the music itself and using that to kind of get people riled up and excited to be out and having a good time and going to the clubs and dancing and showing off. And it's just it's so interesting. Now, most music is listened to for the lyrics or for like what the song sounds like as a whole. And it doesn't matter if there's a really long kind of sprawling section that includes the beat and just the beat with no lyrics it's so cool how this music has changed over the last 30 40 years to think this ain't the land of milk and honey missiles and replace and destroy the human race and everyone and there again we have people talking about missiles destroying the human race it was the 80s and definitely on people's minds is crying for more money there's an actor and a spy who can't see eye to eye well who gives them the right to run the place there are brothers who are sisters and misses who are misters and things keep falling down from outer space and everybody says funkfiedness going on there that is very cool a little bit of guitar coming in that really really neat sounding <laughs> Just get probation. 
Only millions? Still in million, stealing millions with computers? Oh, please. Like, the crypto guy just lost billions. For a while. Okay, next week, folk. The legal system's just a joke. And they're laughing from New York to the coast. They fucking off the plea. And the lawyer gets his fee. And everybody's happy. Well, the most. That's just a cool sound. If you're not a lazy slob, you go looking for a job. But I hope that you ain't looking in Detroit. Where they used to make the cars, all they do is hit the bars. Because the Japanese have markets. So if you weren't around in the 80s, late 70s, 80s, uh, in fact, my dad worked for uh, AMC American Motor Cars in Racine. I think it was Racine, maybe it was Kenosha, I forget. And uh, so many car makers went out of business. I mean, we're still dealing with it in Detroit. Uh, Detroit is a mess. Miss lots of Michigan is a mess because all the auto industry just went and collapsed in the 70s and 80s and, uh, and and like I said we're still dealing with the outfall of that I mean th for years and years there was the whole um, hell night on was it was it on Halloween or the day before before Halloween sorry I decided that I need to hiccup and they would start fires everywhere and so much of the city uh, I haven't heard much about it other than Flint Michigan all the contaminants in the water but haven't heard much about Detroit itself recently and if it's still as empty as as it was a few years ago I assume it mostly is maybe things have gotten a little bit better but I'm sure it's still a ghost of its former self and uh, it's all because these car companies didn't weren't run correctly did not recognize the threat of things like Toyota uh, but also were not transporting all of their, or had already started to transport all of their jobs overseas to cheaper places to build things because, you know, that's a way to increase your profits and profits are more important than anything. So it just, it's so crazy to hear all this stuff come up in a, like a single song that we're three minutes into. Keep getting richer, drink martinis by the picture, while the rest of us are looking for a break. We play Lotto and the number while the politicians slumber. Cause the politicians know it's all fake. No, it's not fake. They slumber because they're getting paid to do nothing. And everybody says they want to serve us. But the only thing they do is make me nervous. Okay. 
it. song uh i can see why it may not have like really broken loose in the 80s but to go back and listen to it now it's really just a lot of fun uh this was great i just wanted to react to a song from 1983 again we're getting closer to 1984 and uh we will keep going i don't do the the older tracks quite as often as i used to but uh it's still interesting to see how the music is just slowly changing over time from what it started as to to what it eventually becomes and uh this is still very much in the early days longer song big concentration on the lyrics probably considered conscious lyricism to some extent definitely talking about how much everything sucks uh at the beginning of the, you know the republican ruination of everything and driving up student costs of student costs for student education uh and that just absolute bonkers corporations not caring about where they're located caring about just the dollar the bottom line make money 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 and fuck everybody else because they don't count they aren't part of the capitalist system they're cogs in the capitalist system yeah i'm a liberal do 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 do, do. your side's wrong uh pop squat checking out Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.